everyone, 3D Hero here, and uh, welcome to today's video series called Under the Cover, where we'll be looking into RNG-based perk roles and combinations and seeing how they affect the weapon as a whole, from good perk roles to bad perk roles, then giving you an overall verdict if you shut one down and add it to your collection or shard it. Today's weapon we'll be looking into is the Curated Lonesome Sidearm that you can get from the Gambit Prime or Reckoner playlist. Its stats are the following. Impact 51, Range 62, Stability 47, Handling 39, Reload 28, Aim Assist 86, Recoil Direction 90, and Magazine 12. The Lonesome is a 260 RPM position frame sidearm with a TDK of 0.70, requiring 2 critical hits and 2 body shots to kill. Landing criticals in the Crucible are worth 57, while bodies are worth 39, which is incredibly high for a precision sidearm and makes you wonder why something like this isn't even more popular with many players. Of course, there are many reasons behind it, but let's go over the perks first before going into it. For the perks, we have the following. First slot, Polygonal Rifling. Second slot, Extended Mag. Third slot, Overflow. Fourth slot, Swashbuckler. And final slot, Masterwork Range. This role for the weapon is more catered towards PvE content rather than PvP content, even though you'll see me using it quite extensively in PvP, which is an issue to be honest, as all weapons in game, no matter what perk variety they have, can play completely fine in Crucible, to a certain degree. It has two perks that synchronize well with each other, for chaining multi kills and design with cleaning up, stragglers, or low health encounters and is meant to be used for finishing fights and not starting them. Although using it to get the drop into players and then switching to a much hard hitting weapon, such as a hand cannon for example, or even a shotgun, is also viable. Its perk overflow allows the weapon to go beyond its ammo limit, if you collect a green or purple ammo casing, and pushes our weapon magazine from a standard 12 to a new size of 30. We then have the perk swashbuckler that activates upon melee kills or normal weapon kills, and stacks to 5 from the weapon itself, which allows the user two choices of engagements and build choices in game. As a heads up, if you get a mini kill with this weapon in hand, it will push your stack to 5 straight away, while getting normal kills will only push it to 1. So, of course, depending on what build you're going for, if you're going to be a mini central build, for example, it's probably best if you have this fully equipped with you to make full use of the buff then and then. On their own, both perks can work well with the set of weapons you can roll with, and with a few other perks such as full auto and outlaw being able to further enhance your weapon roll by giving you something new to play with. However, with the two combined, I find this to be the best cleanup side of in-game for PvE mobs as you get a plus 13% damage increase per stack when using Swashbuckler, and then combine this with overflow for a boosted magazine capacity, and you generally have a perfect weapon where you can kill a low level miner and major enemies easily and still have enough time slash rounds to land a few more rounds in the boss, but don't expect a lot. Now this is more my experience of using it in PvE, where it plays extremely well and comfortable in most environments. This is more my experience of using it in PvE, where it plays extremely well and comfortable in most environments. Now the only practical downside to this weapon is its low handling, which we can get away with as it's not that much of a biggie for us. And then we have its reload speed, which is incredibly daunting to deal with at a low level of 28, but can be adjusted by having a reloading perk for your gauntlets, or using exotics that can help bolster your speed. For its use in PvP, it's a one way street raw sidearms, and it has its merits where it can free tap most players, but only and depending on their resilience if you get Swashbuckler at plus 5, and if you can land your crit to body, which in this case should be quite simple. Overflow comes in quite handy for the weapon in PvP, as green ammo bricks will be plentiful, and 30 within the magazine can allow you enough rounds to put into a charging shotgun user, or an aggressive player. Either way you look at it, the weapon as a whole plays very well in 5 to 12 watt meters, and as long as you land your hits, then you'll do surprisingly well with it, even if you do use it just primarily on its own. Now you won't see this weapon used a lot by a number of players, as there are better choices of weapons that can provide better ad clearing options and higher DPS overall. Although the sidearm does have overflow, which technically increases our damage per second against mob, any other weapon with a much higher base damage and magazine capacity can easily fill the role that Lonesome sum company fills. Plus, using this in Crucible with little to no experience against today's meta won't be an easy feat for many players. But I have found a lot of success using this weapon with a hip fire grip and steadily backing away from a shotgun ape user who generally have to close the gap to get to me. 
So as long as you keep backing your way, and as long as you land at least say two to three critical hits, or make sure you land your body body shots and then followed by a crit, you'll generally do perfect with this weapon. And it's honestly a very underlooked and a very undeserved weapon that I believe a lot of people should actually give more of a chance. It's really good, and I recommend that if you get the chance, grind it out in Reckoning, grind it out in Gamut Prime, get it, test it, and then you see. You may like it, or you may shard it, and you may get a better roll. It's all down to you. Overall, I would say keep this roll because of its unique perk combinations that work extremely well for PvE and PvE only. It's a nice sidearm with good damage that you'll want to bring with you for a shadow keep. Until you get something generally better, of course, or until you find another piece of weaponry that can match, you can match it up with, or something that can just generally fill the gap for the time being. But like I said, underrated weapon, great to use in PvP, great to use in PvP to a degree. Definitely get it. Either get it for collector's edition or just get it to just test out. So that comes to the end of the weapons perk review video for this week's content. I have plenty more weapons to show off with unique perk combinations and synchronizations that you should try and honestly give it a go. And like always, I will show it at another time. So, if you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like, a sub, and share the video with others who may be interested in this type of stuff. It really does help me out if you do. Also, follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny and also Anthem based content if that's kind of your thing. Link is down below. But once again, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you in the next one.